Well, today, as I said earlier, we have a friend. It's always nice to listen to what you've said as viewers and listen to your responses, phone calls, emails, letters. By the way, keep them coming. Uh, try to be nice if you don't like something because we all love Jesus, right? And we want to do unto others the way that he would have them do unto us. But uh, I love your responses. And one of the most popular guests that we have had is Dr. Neil Goodman, otherwise known as Dr. G. And I think so many of us, especially after the pandemic, know the importance of taking care of the temple now. And yet, we may have had years of abuse or ignorance or just weren't knowledgeable. And that is why this segment is so critical, so essential to your health and your future because Jesus needs your body to be strong so that you can finish your race. You can cross the finish line. You can hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So Dr. G, thank you for coming back. Thank, thank you, you for so being here. Thank you so much for here. having me. I'm so thrilled to be here. Well, today I know we're gonna talk about oxidative stress. And one. we're going to kind of talk about the implications, how it happens, how we can be cured from all of these factors that are all around us. But, you know, you said something earlier to me and it really touched me. And you said, let's pray for the viewers before we even start the, the meat of this subject so that they would have an understanding. So I'm going to ask you to pray. OK, I'd love to do that. Uh, Lord Jesus, I ask that you come into this broadcast this time and help our viewers to unwrap some of the information that I'm about to explore. Um, Father, I know that you want them to learn this because you know it's so important for them to take care of their temples. But Father, I ask that their eyes not be glazed over when they hear big scientific words that are maybe outside of their scientific knowledge. Father, give me the ability to bring into their hearts and into their minds the ability to understand in simple terms so that they can get these concepts, Father, and so that they can start to begin the journey to heal their own bodies and to heal themselves, heal their families, and heal all those that they know. And I ask for this power to come into the room today to protect and to give us the words to help them to understand. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you have not watched Dr. G's testimony, it's important that you go on to ctnonline.com, that you go to the on-demand section, that you go to Come Home with Jen Mallon, or you go to the CTN YouTube channel and see the power of his testimony. It will help you appreciate this segment even more in future segments. And I tell people about your story all the time. So powerful. Okay, so let's talk about the topic of oxidative stress. What is it? Uh, how do we heal from it? How do we prevent it? How do we fight it? It's, it's all around us. And Dr. G, sometimes we get overwhelmed because people say, drink this water, not this water. Buy this organic, not this. Do this, not that. Don't have your phone near you, da, da. And sometimes you just get so overwhelmed, you just don't even know what to do and what not to do as believers. And I think many throw their hands up in the air and go, well, Jesus is just gonna have to protect me because it's too overwhelming. That's why you're here to break it down right. and help us understand. Um, so let's talk. Well, absolutely. So I would just say that first, I think people need to understand that there is science that was given to man to understand, to allow us to be able to heal our bodies. And if you think about the genetic code that we were all given, this is God's code in our bodies that makes us who we are, gives us our personalities, and then from there we evolve, right? So that code is very similar to a DVD disc. Ah. It's, this disc is encoded with digital information. And this, think of this as your genetic code. But in fact, this genetic code can be damaged by our environment, by what you eat, by what you pollute your body with, by what you're exposed to in terms of radio waves or 5G radiation or UV light, or just picking up bad habits, right. such as alcohol or tobacco, we all know these are bad for us. But what do they do? Well, essentially what they do is they scratch the surface of the DVD. The information is still there. God's code is still in you, but it's been defiled. It's been hurt. And now when your body needs to pull on that resource to extract that information so it can heal itself, it can't do it anymore. And that's the science of epigenetics. Epigenetics is the study 
of how your genes are affected by your environment. Yeah. So we want to reverse that. And there are ways to do that with nutrition and using food as, as a healing substance. Medicine. Absolutely. Most medicines God put on this earth, most medicines, they were derived from him. The science came to us. Yes. And then, it, thank goodness for doctors, right, yeah. who understood the science and could apply it. But really, all the gifts came from God. That's right. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to maximize our benefit from that science and what we know now, and the technology is constantly changing. So you introduced the subject of oxidative stress. Yeah. And that's a huge one. And I think for people to understand what oxidative stress is, is it's essentially the culmination of everything negative that happened that caused that disc to be damaged. And we want to sort of polish it back up and get it back to where it needs to be so it can be read again and perform as God intended. And it's doable. And it's doable. And you're going it's to teach doable. us. Right, exactly. <laughs> it takes time yeah. and it takes good habits too. So that's the concept of oxidative stress. Now, if you think of the word oxidative stress, the word oxygen is in there, isn't it? Yes. So if you were to bite into an apple, what happens in 10, 15 minutes when you look at that apple. It turns like brown or yeah, yellow. Yeah, it turns brown. It's oxidizing. Right. So that's the effect of the environment on the flesh of the apple. The only thing is, is the same thing is happening to our bodies in real time, but on a much, much slower scale. So it's not just your flesh, but it's your enzyme systems, your ability to heal, your blood vessels, and all this stuff takes a toll after a while. And the culmination of that, you know, gone, going for 20 or 30 years, is disease. Yeah. So all disease is derived from the culmination of oxidative stress on our body. Right. So what do we want to do to counteract oxidative stress? What would be the solution for that? Prevent do you think? disease or build our build our bodies up in areas it's, that it's, have been exposed to stress. Exactly. Build up our system. So the the opposite of oxidative stress is the antioxidant. Okay. That makes sense, yeah, right? Absolutely. If an antioxidant meets an oxidative stress, the two join together and become water. They neutralize each other. And then you, it's part of the healing process. So when you have a whole bunch of oxidative stress, you have a whole bunch of inflammation mm. to be in flames. What's the solution to put a fire out? Water. Water. Right. Right? Makes sense. Yeah. Right? It does. See, so this is really simple, isn't it? Yeah. So we want as many antioxidants in our system as possible to neutralize that oxidative stress. So that we don't become inflamed. In, exactly, exactly. And that's why antioxidants are so popular now. The problem is, is that we make so much oxidative stress from everything that happens to us that we can't possibly ingest enough antioxidants to get rid of it all. It's just impossible. So what do we do? Well, the answer <laughs> is in the genetic code that I was talking okay. about. So the secret in the genetic code is something that's called NRF2. And NRF2 is a big, long word, and I'm not going to go into it, but you can research it. And there is information on my website, biohackerusa.com, that explains it in a video. I do sort of training videos for my guests who want to visit my website. But in short, NRF2 is the signaling system that turns on the ability of the body to make antioxidants in huge quantities enough to neutralize all of the oxidative stress that you've accumulated. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't it wonderful that God, Elohim, Creator, already pre-wired that in our genetic code? He knew we would need these things. And the human body is a miracle. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the thing is, you know, actually the sad thing is, is that a lot of doctors don't understand this process of um, neutralizing oxidative stress and sort of poo-poo the whole idea of antioxidants because they're so ingrained in the use of medicines in the in the pharma pharmacologic kind of world um, where we've lost sight of the fact that many of these healing things exist in nature yeah. and are God-given, yeah. right? So um, in turning on the NRF2 signal, um, think of it this way. Uh, you're at home and you're behind your closed door yeah. and someone rings the doorbell. And that doorbell is the signal for you to open the door to let in this healing property. Yeah. So that's what the NRF2 is. NRF2 is a receptor. It's a signal. And it's just waiting for someone to push the button. Ding dong. That's it. And right? it turns on this whole system 
of huge productions of antioxidant particles in every single one of your 37 trillion cells. I mean, they all make antioxidants to the tune of millions per second wow. in every single one of your cells. That's a huge, huge potential to heal. 